Welcome, this is Southern Savannah in conjunction with Nurex. We are suppliers and the technicians for all of your machines from China for your large format printing and CNC business. If you're looking at Loco, Mimage, GraphKing and all of those. In today's video, we're going to be talking about head calibration and alignment. So maybe you've put a new head, uh, you've changed the height of the head, your print quality is not fine. I'm just going to run you through the few basics which will be very helpful. All right, now, if you can come through on the screen here, with your machine being connected, as you can see on this uh, alignment tool here, first thing you want to check for is where my HIDI, which is the horizontal alignment is, normally it ranges from 35 all the way up to 35. And uh, step alignment is the alignment for the vertical. So how do we do them and what do they mean? To start with, step alignment is the amount of steps that the machine takes when it's printing. If this number increases, my text is going to shrink because the steps are going to become smaller. If this number decreases, my text or whatever image I have is actually, if this number decreases, it's going to become bigger. So sometimes if I get banding, it's because the step alignment is not correct. So I'm going to do it and show you how to adjust it. If I just simply click it, it asks me, do you want to step align? Yes. And as I do that, The machine is going to print basically about five lines. On those five lines, two are going to be horizontal and three are going to be vertical. Now when it does, I need to measure the distance between the two horizontal lines. And as I measure the distance between the two horizontal lines, I'm simply going to input it into the computer there. Very basic process, but it could change a lot. This is going to solve your banding. It's also going to solve your print sizes not being equal. You're printing 5 meters, but what's coming out is 4.8. Or you're printing 3 meters and what's coming out is 3.5. You adjust it by doing this step calibration or step alignment. This applies for your DTF, UV, and large format printers, all of them. And in this video, we're showing you how to fix it. So let me show you. After this, we take a tape measure. Um, blade or blade blade. All right, so here's what we're going to do now. With this ruler on hand, you can use a tape measure, whatever you have. I'm simply going to cut off what I just printed now. Okay, with that being done, I'm going to put it on a table. Right. Now, what I'm trying to measure here is simply these were my horizontal lines. And what I want to know is the distance from the start to the beginning. I can either measure this line, this line, or that line. The distance is the same. But mainly, I want to find out where they intersect with these two lines here. So I'm going to put my ruler here. I like to start off from, uh, I'll start off from one. Okay, and right at the edge, there we go. And I'm gonna hit the other end. All right. Now with that being done, I'm gonna see here, if you move the camera a bit closer, you're gonna find out we have 403 millimeters. So I need to take the value in millimeters. And once I have that value, I'm gonna come here and simply input that value on this section here next to step align. So I had 403. And after that, I simply click on calculate. This value changes to 7427, and then I save it. That's how I do my step alignment. The idea is this. When you print that, it's supposed to measure 406.4 millimeters, but I got 403, which is what I typed here. So now that we've put the right value here, this is now the new value and it's perfect. The next thing we're going to do, if my print seems a bit hazy when I print it, maybe it looks like it's blurry or it's a double vision, I'm going to do a HD or horizontal alignment. Now before I press it, of course, I'm just going to make sure my paper is fine. And okay, cool. My paper's ready and I'm going to click on horizontal 
alignment. There we go. Once you click on it, the machine is going to prepare for the print, of course, and it's going to print the scale. All right. Now, if you come closer, this scale starts from minus 9 to plus 9. And the idea is, for it to print perfectly, I need it to align on 0, to have one thin line and one thick line. You can see from plus 9, I have two thin lines and two thick lines. Minus 9, I have two thin lines and two thick lines. But as we move towards 0, the lines start becoming thinner, and I have on minus 2 here, one thin line and one thick line. So between minus 3 and minus 2 is what I actually want. But I want it to be on 0. So what am I going to do? Let's say I find that the perfect alignment is on minus 2. If you agree with me, then we're good. So it's on minus 2, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go back to my alignment 2 software. And on 33, I'm going to subtract 2 so that it becomes 31. 33 minus 2, and then I simply save it. After that, I can simply do another alignment just so that I check if what I printed before has changed. And as you can see on this new alignment, on zero, unlike the top, unlike the previous one I did, everything is now straight. So I have one thin line and one thick line. That's what I'm aiming for. This is what clears out all that haziness. Now, if all of this does not solve your printing, maybe you're doing a very big print, but it has tiny, tiny text. Remember, this is a large format printer. Its job is to do large prints. So if you're struggling with it, the next thing you want to do is understand that the slower it prints, the better. You might want to change your speed to slow speed as well. That would really help. Or change it from bi-directional, where it prints going that way and prints coming back, to unidirectional, where it only prints going one way. And how do we change that? It's a very, very simple process. All right. You come back to your alignment software. You see where it says direction here. Right now, it was on one way. I can change it to BIDI, which means bi-direction. And for speed, speed 2 is high speed. Speed 1 is low speed. Now, whatever I change here, I simply have to press save. And everything is back to normal. Now it's printing faster because I'm on bi-direction. But if I want it slower, I bring it to uni. Do note something though. My, my horizontal alignment came back to zero when I changed the speed. All I have to do is type it back to what it was, which was 31. Always remember this and check for it when you change your speed. Otherwise, everything is all good. That's how you align and refine and calibrate your machine and refine it for better prints. Cheers. From us at Southern Savannah and Nerex, enjoy the rest of the day. Cheers.